As dusk falls on an early Johannesburg Sunday, the childhood home of South African legendary musician Lethe Mbulu is set to be honoured with the Johannesburg Heritage Site Blue Plaque on this Heritage Day. Heritage Day dawns on this brand new official Johannesburg Heritage Site, once home to legendary South African musician Lethe Mbulu. 1670 Mulatlo Street in Orlando East now proudly displays the full heritage site Blue Plague. With an illustrious international career under her belt, Emmy winner Leta Mbulu has toured with the musical King Kong and worked with the likes of her equally renowned musician husband, Kefia Simenya, as well as international stars the likes of Harry Palafante, Sidney Poitier and even the late king of pop, Michael Jackson. Mbulu may have worked with the best in the world, but she quickly learned that it is staying true to her South African heritage that set her apart as an artist. And I was fortunate because I also um, encountered artists like um, Celia Cruz who was from Cuba. And when I first saw her perform, she actually liberated me because at, at, at the beginning I thought I had to sing like Sarah Vaughan. I had to sing like uh, whoever, you know, uh, Nancy Wilson. But when I saw her sing Cuban music, salsa, and singing it in Spanish, I said, oh, okay, I can do this. You know, I have sounds from South Africa, we can put that together. And that's what attracted the African-American in us. Leta Mbolo may be known to many as a legendary musician, but her contribution to the tapestry of the anti-apartheid struggle is often not spoken about. An honorary lecture was delivered in recognition of Mbuli's multifaceted contributions to the country. We all recognize that that uh, generation of musicians played an important role in the anti-apartheid movement. But often the contribution uh, is a link to the high point of the anti-apartheid movement, meaning the 1980s. And what I want to uh, help us think about uh, in the lecture today is how, when they first went into exile after, um, you know, um, touring with King Kong, uh, they, in very small groups, linked up to uh, the civil rights movement in the United States. Some of them were involved or linked to the politics of the Black Panther movement. They were working with people like Harry Belafonte, Maya Angelou, and in the United States and elsewhere, but the United States was an important place where this happened, they linked up with people from elsewhere on our continent, and in that way uh, contributed to the creation of an awareness of our Africanness. As part of the celebrations, a fun walk to the Orlando Communal Hall in Orlando East will start before the official unveiling of the plaque. Masako Komani, SABC News, Johannesburg.